Hey, welcome back on this Tuesday morning. We are starting off with mostly clear skies. This is the view of M28 in eastern Marquette County looking all nice and pretty there. We have seen some areas of patchy fog, so be mindful of that. The Mackinac Bridge looking good there as well, but a little bit more cloud cover on the east end of the UP at this moment. So for today, probably going to need to set your fan levels on high. It is going to be another warm day uh, and also still staying on the sticky side of things. Current dew point temperatures upper 50s to the lower 60s so you feel that moisture that's in the air. Our high temperatures expected to be right around the mid 70s near Lake Superior. Our interior areas upper 70s. If you're along the Wisconsin state line you could likely reach right around the lower 80s this afternoon especially between portions of Dickinson and Menominee counties and right along Lake uh, Michigan also going to be warm this afternoon. If you have plans to get out on the Great Lakes today, not bad. As far as winds, we are expecting knots of around five to eight on uh, and across those lakes out of the north and northwest. Wave heights, fairly calm to near a foot in some instances. So overall, decent conditions to get out on those Great Lakes and we're not expecting rip currents. Currently at this moment, quite across the UP, Wisconsin and a good chunk of the lower peninsula, there's a tropical depression a barrel moving out of north northern Arkansas, pushing a lot of rain over into southern areas of Missouri. And then eventually a lot of that moisture will move into the Ohio River Valley tomorrow and expect rain for areas downstate tomorrow. Why? Well, because in the upper levels of the atmosphere, this is the jet stream. There's this big trough digging right over the central plains. That big trough is going to uh, allow the remnants of barrel to get wrapped up in this flow. And as that trough pushes east, that flow will push the remnants of barrel up into the Great Lakes. That's why you can expect rain basically south of the bridge tomorrow and some more cloud cover for the UP tomorrow. Then eventually a big ridge starts to form in the western parts of the nation for the second half of this work week and it's going to help usher in an unseasonably hot and humid air mass for the rest of this weekend into the weekend. In the meantime, sunshine today with some clouds increasing this afternoon. Lake breezes could converge this afternoon triggering potentially an isolated pop up shower or two. That's three. This is 6 p.m mainly in the central areas starting off dry tomorrow and then again some lake breezes could trigger an isolated shower or two but you can see most of the rain associated with the remnants of barrel will stay south of the UP. Some of it could kind of clip the eastern areas for the evening hours tomorrow at 7 30. High pressure starts to move in on Thursday but again those lake breezes doing their thing could again trigger isolated shower or two popping up for Thursday afternoon and evening. Then the heat and the Humidity ramps up 80s for the end of this week into the weekend with isolated 90 degree readings. Still ahead in sports, we continue our coverage of the Little League softball major state.